Living Samurai, Fire up here, and at last we have Dragon of the North in our hands. It was released just an hour ago here in Europe. It sure took its while today. We were waiting. So I'm gonna go through the moveset for you. I'm gonna show you all the combos available in high, mid and low stands. And I'm gonna go through the tree in order to demonstrate some of the moves that I don't have the enemies I want available at the moment to test it on. I didn't want to go into too many clips of myself going through trial and error since the weapon was just released and I'm not quite as adept at using it. So the simple combos I will demonstrate here and the counters, parries and evasive rolls I will demonstrate via the uh, skill tree as well as some of the passives available. So we'll stand from low stance. The combos are actually unique to the weapon. It's not like the Odachi where you just went from one stance to the other. Here the combos are quite unique. So here is a triple square, the basic combo. Here is the finisher of the combo with triangle. By blocking and pressing triangle, you perform this hit that's supposed to stagger in PvP as well. This attack is the return attack from the evasive roll. It's a two-piece. Whilst guarding, you can press square to perform this combo. Pretty amazing the amount of hits you can land and I suppose it will be perfect for inflicting ailments and negative effects on the enemy so we're moving on to mid stance this is the square combo four hits this is by finalizing with triangle Again, this can be performed by blocking and pressing square if you've chosen it from your skill customization here. This uppercut is performed by blocking and pressing triangle. It's supposed to st send smaller enemies flying. Low stance. Again, by blocking and pressing square, you can perform this. This is the full square spam, lots of hits in here as well. And these kicks are performed by finalizing with a triangle. Two kicks if you block and press triangle. It also has a lot of evasive techniques available, but we'll go through everything one by one. Here to the left everything is generic, so wild lines is what I showed you by blocking and pressing square. Reduce key damage received by 6% when using tonfas. So whilst you're wielding tonfas, you will be tonfas, sorry, no plural. You will be less likely to be hit from la for large amounts of key damage. This is flux as always. This is the move performed when switching from a flash, a flax. The sweeping kick is the finisher of the combo. Buoyancy is a passive, increases your damage when using ton fine proportion to how light your equipment is. Scales to D minus. Now I don't know why the hell you would invest with to, in that if it's gonna be D minus. Anyway, Devastation, I showed you at the end of the combo. Mountain Breaker is blocking in triangle. And by blocking in triangle, you can have urgency as well. Urgency, I showed you. Mountain Breaker is the alternative in skill customization. Demon Dance Heaven can be performed in all stances. It's Heaven, Man and Earth. And what it does, 
is allows you to dodge and reposition after a su successful key pulse. So you perform your combo and then you can take, a, take an evasive step back and also recover your key by using the pulse. From this, in all stances, you can follow with Pulverize. Earth, Man and Heaven as always. It performs a large multi-hit combo after your recovery maneuver. Very useful, also very good for applying effects. Now this persistence allows you to dodge attacks, dodge attacks that come at you whilst performing an evasive maneuver it should be giving you more invulnerability frames whilst you're in an evasive maneuver Invulnerability is a, a just frame block like the katana just frame block etc etc and here you can go with dragon slayer by performing another block and if you perform another input, you can move in with two attacks after your just block frame execution. For Mystic cards, we have Apocalypse, increases damage from Tomfan when you perform a series of consecutive attacks. This is very, very, very good for the Tomfa since you have huge combos at your disposal. And Kanagi allows you to cancel out of a Tomfa technique using Demon Dance. Uh, Demon Dance is, as I showed you, the evasive maneuver after a combo available in all stances. So this is pretty much the Tonfa skill tree and the Tonfa basic combos. Very interesting, looking forward to having a more coherent look and experience with the weapon. I really want to see how people are going to use it in PvP as well. It's been fire of people, I hope you found it useful. I will cover every single thing I can get my hands on in Defiant Honor. So until next time, be well, stay frosty, and always try for perfection. Cheers.